Greetings RC fans, Sharky here and welcome back to part two of the foam mounting board build. So I've already put um, one layer of foam on and I've cut it. I'm going to go over that in a second. Um, I'm hoping to keep this as minimal as possible, but um, obviously it depends on how things go. Um, don't forget to do the usual things like comment subscribe and put me something interesting in the comment section please do share to facebook So things look a lot different now than they did at the end of part one. Um, I have put three cans of spray foam on here. There is a lot that I have cut off. Um, and I went out and bought a bread knife because that's really good for cutting it. And I put another sharp to help sculpt the foam. I've put a lot of... Um, markers in for getting the right heights on things um this one here is 60 centimeters you can't see the top of it because of this angle but that's going to be the height um the bridge is going to go in here um i am going to run um baby blue over what we've got so far uh it's not much uh the next phase will be um, I took these um, salad containers, put them together. They are going to be set. One is there. The other is going to be there. They're going to be wrapped, wrapped in cling film and they are going to make the tunnel because it's wide enough and whatever for... Um, that's it, and then we'll cut that out and they'll be pulled out but it's going to go up to hit this height over the top <coughs> and then round and down um, on this side we haven't really started yet and I'm thinking that I may need to do an overhang surface but there's this is 30 this is 10 10 is the height that this is going to be which are these so my thought is that i can do an overhang here to enable us to actually get that and i can use potentially some of the um off cuts of foam to help pad that up um much as possible because um, obviously I'm trying to keep it as, as possible. I've been out and bought three more uh, cans of expanding foam so yeah uh, there was a time lapse um, of foam expanding um, I don't know how much that's going to show I may do another one in a minute um, I may have put that in before I put this in and then put another time lapse in afterwards um, so what I may do is set a time lapse up to do that because that might be interesting to people um and yeah and then i shall leave this to set for 24 hours um and then i shall then do the next thing which will well depending on how much i can get cut back off of these because this is going to come over and then the idea is that it's going to come down to this uh, 20 centimeter height here and then down to there but we will see how that works out um so yeah i will stop this clip now i will then run baby blue over what we've got so far 
uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem and then I will get these wrapped in cling film get them set and then do the next layer of spray foam um, and then probably get back to you once that's set right I may also put a chamfer angle on this so that you can actually cut it more and make it easier for getting up but we'll see how that goes um, let's see and I've got it in low because I forgot in the first comp that this is two speed So this is the least capable or the lesser capable of my rigs um, so it should be easily doable uh, this will get steeper because this is going on a shorter distance up and then 40 to a point of 60 at this corner here is going to be even steeper um, to get across so we'll see how that goes right that's the tunnel cling filmed and set in place which I should be able to pull stroke cut out um, around the, the foam um, so that's I'm gonna put a load of foam on this end and then I'm planning to use some of these pieces that I've got that I've cut off to basically squish into it to hopefully make it more um, to build up the height more easily so I will set up a time lapse before I start spraying So quite a bit has happened because last time this here was just about to be set in that hole there. Well, I've ripped it out. Um, we can see that the 40 centimeter height here that I wanted, the 60 here, we're going to have to do some work. I've also done a test spray of some of the paint. Um, I am going to uh, polyfiller over this first. Uh, I may set some of the bits that I'm cutting off. <coughs> so we've got that coming up around. You can see in there, that one's going to come out, but I'm just keeping it in because I still need to do some more on that side. You can see here some of the pieces that have been set in that have been cut off. This end has been done. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to cut this off here. I needed this a little bit wider, so... Um, because of this section here so that's going to get cut I built this wall up here we need to bring this out a bit more across here and yeah you can see there this is going to get cling filled up and set into here so that we can put a piece across the top here so I can bring this out this way um, so that's good there um, yeah so that's where we're at at the minute. I'll give you an update once the next phases are done. So a considerable amount of time has passed and I have been very busy with the foam. And we've got loads of overhangs. Both of these trucks will make it up. I've tested that and in all six directions. So from here, round, 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 down, round the back here, 
down to here, from here, up, up, over, down, round and down, here, up, over, round, round, here, here, up, turn, over, round, and here, and from here, through the tunnel, and out to here, and from here, through the tunnel, and down. So all six runs. The foam work is now done. You can see here, I've put a slight chamfer here, putting it back towards that. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's come out kind of how I'd hoped it to, but I've had to work some interesting extra bits to it. Um, I haven't chamfered this edge. I don't know whether I'm going to. Um, I could do, but I'm not sure. Um, it works as it is, so I'm kind of tempted not to mess with it. This bit, hooking the tyre on here round, works really, really well. Um, we have got lots of offcuts of foam that didn't get used. Um, this is stuff that's going to get binned but this will get used for other projects so next up um, i'm going to conclude this episode here with this um, and part three we will use the multi-purpose filler to fill in all of this i don't know how many layers and stuff you use your fingers there's a video that i linked in part one on how to do that then using the PVA glue watered down paint over the top of all of that um, and then getting on to the spray foam uh, the spray paint base and the colored base so that's it for today folks um, thanks very much for watching part three as I say we'll deal with this we'll probably deal with this and we'll probably deal with the painting all in that um, I think once it's painted, it's going to look amazing. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying this. Um, it's been a lot of fun for me. It's learning a lot about it and also testing the rigs. So I'm getting a lot of driving in as well. Anyway, catch you all again soon.